Hello, I've just been down to my local garden centre to buy some fertiliser that I'm going to be using this year here at homegrown veg. We're going to pop into the greenhouse in a minute and have a look at that. But before we do that I just want to show you the basic building blocks that we're going to be using this year. This is it. 10 inch water buckets, fibre bags, some garden soil that I've maintained over winter. Some forest bark and wood chip that until about four or five months ago was a garden path and some seaweed and leaves. Let me give you a closer look. That's the soil. As you can see it's quite loose. That's the soil. These are the wood chips. They don't look much like wood chips now but that's because they were part of a path for probably nearly a decade. Um, but now I'm going to recycle them into my mixes to grow vegetables. And this is seaweed and leaves. May not look too much like it now but that's because that stood out over winter and it's starting to break down. The worms have enjoyed it and the winter weather has helped push it into buckets, push it into the raised bed and now we're going to incorporate it in the mix and start growing in it. Okay, let's go into the greenhouse. If you're a regular here at Homegrown Veg, you'll know that I always advocate shop locally. More so in the last 12 months during the pandemic where we've been locked down. But we've started to get our jabs now. We're starting to get a bit more freedom. And so I've been down to my local garden centre today to buy some products that I'm going to be using in the garden here at Homegrown Veg in the United Kingdom this growing season. Let me show you these. This is some organic leek and onion fertilizer. It's an NPK of 6815. I'll be using this as part of the mix that goes into my buckets and bags for growing leeks and onions and I will also use it in the raised bed. This is an organic leek and onion fertiliser, it's a specialist fertiliser. This is another specialist fertiliser. This is a potato fertiliser. It's got an NPK of 6, 10, 10. I'll also be incorporating this in the mix for potatoes to be grown in buckets and bags. This is some fish blood and bone. 
it's an organic fertiliser and it's got an NPK of 6, 7, 6. This would be described as an all-round fertiliser. Good for most if not all vegetables. Certainly wouldn't do them any harm. And if you're actually stuck for what it is you want to use yourself this year, you probably wouldn't go far wrong with some fish, blood and bone. I'll also incorporate some of this into my buckets and bags and I'll also use it in my raised bed. This was an impulse buy. I actually went down to the garden centre for those three uh, fertilisers and I spotted this calcified seaweed. Now the NPK is not stated or at least if it is I can't see it. Um, but as you know I, I like to grow using seaweed as a fertiliser. I go and collect it every year. Me and Molly used to visit our local seashore regularly to collect seaweed. We used to go up the woods and collect leaves. And make a mix and do a chop and drop and leave it to overwinter on the raised beds or on buckets and bags full of soil. And that would fire up the buckets and bags for the following year, fire up the raised bed for the following year and any that hadn't composted down and been taken to the raised beds would simply dig it in. Um, so I know I've never needed um, calcified seaweed. So I've never needed a proprietary brand of seaweed fertiliser. I've always got it straight from our local seashore. But yeah, I spotted this and I actually wanted to spend some money in our local garden centre because well business must have been terrible over the last 12 months of lockdown and yes yeah, so I, I bought some of this as well uh, and I'm actually thinking of using this with my tomato mix I haven't made up the buckets and bags yet for tomatoes but when I do I'm going to incorporate some of this uh, calcified seaweed Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, some ideas that you might want to take on board. You, you might be using a different fertilizer that works well for you, eh? Why not? Why not just, just use whatever works for you? Um, what I would say is that if you can't get this locally to where you garden, you'll definitely find it on the internet. This and the other three products I've just showed you you'll definitely find it on the internet. I've seen it, but as I've already stated in this video, I like to shop local. I think you should too. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.